everything can be edited out. So get your nerves out. I don't have any nerves. Okay, can you just practice talking? Because I don't want you to do that, I, do that fake okay, voice. I'm that not you do. doing no fake voice. I'm talking like Tanya, damn it. That's <laughs> my regular voice. Okay. Every day. Yeah, that's your regular voice. It's but my then, regular voice. But then when you try day. to put on like your camera. Okay, I'm not going to put on no camera, smile. I'm just going to talk like Tanya, okay? okay. All right. I'm just going to talk like Tanya. Can we get this rolling? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Celeste. I just want to send a big shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me. So glad to have you a part of my community. So today I'm here with my lovely mother who is going to answer some questions about her, uh, not sister, well, sister lock slash, <laughs> sister lock slash micro locks. Um, it's been one year, 12 months. And so I thought I would have her on the channel just to ask her a couple of questions. So, mom. I don't even call you mom. No, you don't. You <laughs> call me mommy. But anyway, <laughs> go ahead. Okay. So my first question for you, mom, is why did you decide to get locks as opposed to um, continue to be like a loose natural? To continue to just be natural? Like loose natural is like what Takaya had. Like her hair because when you go loose natural, there's still a lot of maintenance that's required and upkeep. And um, I just like the the ability to have the curly locked look and not have to deal with it very much. Um, it's some low maintenance and I get a, it's a low maintenance type hairstyle and it's, it's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. As long as, I mean, it's a process, don't get me wrong. It's a, pro it's a process and you go through different phases, but once you get to the end result, it's beautiful. Okay. So before you, so you decided to go, um, because of the no maintenance, the like, low maintenance. How, yeah. how were you wearing your hair before the locks? Well, before I was, before I ventured into getting the locks, I used to have, uh, hair pieces, uh, different like curly uh, extension, crochet, braid. crochet braids, mm -hmm. and it just, I mean, it looked fine for the time, but I wanted something that was going to start off and grow into something beautiful, and this is what the locks have given me. Again, like I said, it is hard work mm -hmm. uh, in the beginning because you go through different phases. First, you look what, like they call the wet chicken, mm -hmm. where you're all scalpy. Mm -hmm. And I mean, once you get past that and it starts to shape itself mm -hmm. and to lock, you're gonna love it. So, and I just want to add too that you probably got tired of the price, right? Because we spent a lot of money at a beauty supply store. A lot stores. of money at the beauty supply store because if you're spending anywhere from forty to sixty dollars on hair, and then once you have somebody to uh, sew it in, you pay that cost for maintenance. Of course, I had you, and I didn't have to. Uh, pay the service cost, but if you think about that over a period of time, that's a waste of money, mm -hmm. you know, but this is an investment that you can uh, really be proud of in the end. So, okay. So my next question for you is, I, you know, that I locked your hair. So technically they're not the official sister locks, um, because but they look just as great. And you know, it's like every day that I, I work downtown every day i get stopped by somebody in the train station or on the street they're like oh you got locks or you got some type of locks those are beautiful i love them how do i get them you know who's doing them who did it so you know i always get compliments so on them but so my question to you then is like I don't, although i kind of know the answer but like why did you decide to like let me lock it as opposed to like actually going to an official sister lock Titian, because there are some people who, you know, choose to do it themselves as opposed to like actually finding a consultant and going through the whole sister lock process. Um, but you chose to let me just do it. Is there? Uh, well, the reason I actually let you uh, do it is because I know that you had done a lot of research okay. and I just wanted to just be your model. Okay. Because, you know, I knew that there was a more economical way of doing it versus the way that it's currently done now. So you know how much I pay for my- Yes, a lot, a ton. 
A lot. And I think I told them before. Dollar, dollar, dollars. <laughs> yes, a lot. At least, I think I told you guys before it was um over $1,200. Yeah. yeah. Um, would you pay that? I mean, no, your, your, your hair no, is not as no, long as mine. I, my hair is not as long as yours, mm -hmm. but no, I would not pay that amount because guess what? I can get almost the same result that you're getting. I mean, look at it. She's going to give you a close up, but look at it. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's beautiful. And I like it. Okay. So for somebody out there um, who is like debating between whether they should like go through the official channels or just, you know, maybe go another route you would say that like maybe just get micro locks is okay i would too. say go micro locks you're gonna get the same result without the price if you guys remember her install video in that initial video your hair was um very scalpy and to be quite honest like that was my first time installing locks i just looked at a bunch of whole youtube videos and i made a a bunch of mistakes so even though it took me like five days to install them initially it actually took me somewhere around like maybe three weeks because i like redid the front that section. was because she was trying to be a perfectionist so i actually <laughs> yeah so i actually redid the front section to make them smaller and even now maybe because i am a perfectionist like i'll look through her hair and like notice oh like i probably should have did things differently and i forgot my question that i was gonna ask you oh yeah so you were initially very scalpy kind of take me through that process yes and how you felt because well, I, even though you were like trying to support me and be encouraging like for a woman her hair is kind of like important yeah and it's so, a clown of her glory right but you know to so be so how did you feel because i know you were you told me like oh it's fine but i knew that you kind of well to be honest uh looking like bald headed wasn't the best type of thing to be walking around looking at. and when i say bald headed i'm not like looking like shade ball but i mean you know you'd have like patches here that would have to fill in and it just it wasn't the best thing, but I began, you know, it over a course of period of time, like within the next couple of weeks, it just started to grow and I could see it began to fill in. So that's what made it made me feel more confident. Initially, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, I'm walking around my head, look like this is not what I signed up for, but Wait, so were you self-conscious then? then like, initially you... I was. Initially mm -hmm. I was, but then like I said, over time it just started to grow and flourish. And then, but so so what advice would you give someone who like we all know that it's going to flourish in time but like from a day to day like on a day to day basis like what advice would you give someone who is like maybe starting out and they don't initially like how their hair is looking please just keep telling yourself that it's going to get better it's going to look better it's growing into something beautiful say it's evolving into something beautiful keep telling yourself that keep doing the you know spring and you know just so it's mental mental and uh did you did you do anything to try to make yourself feel better like did you wear makeup or did you oh yeah you can always accentuate i mean accentuate ex yeah accentuate yourself by <laughs> adding different accessories or whatever uh, again just i think initially if you tell yourself okay they say it's this period call the wet chicken scalpy okay so i go through that i get over it it's gonna be smooth selling from there and it practically is you just have to get through that period and some for some pe people it's less long you know it's not as long right. as it is for others it just depends on your type of hair and what your scalp and stuff looks like because if you uh, you know if you come in with thick hair okay it's not gonna be as bad as somebody that came like my, with like my like my sister her other daughter like she probably would not have wet chicken look at, at all no yeah. no because she has lots and lots of hair and her hair is very very thick yeah so that makes a difference how how long do you plan to, to grow it yeah oh i'm not giving this up only because i'm getting older and my salt and pepper is coming in like the way it should come in almost like a it's tent beautiful. look and once she gives you an up close look you'll be able to see i'm never turning this up well i'm not gonna say never let's just say i will be within locks for quite some time do you think you'll let them like grow down to your butt i don't think so i don't think it'll be that long but uh it'll get it'll be long because i want to try some things like dye <laughs> i want to 
to get some color in it. What color? So I want to do some fun things with it, and I just want to get it to that length, to that um, point where I can do fun things with it. Do you have a like, like a ideal length? Probably uh, the shoulder, like right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. And you're not really on social media like that, so you might not deal with this in this next thing. But have you encountered or dealt with lock envy where you see someone else's locks and think, like, man, I wish my hair was going to look like that? The only person I've ever encountered oh, that see. was was with you. Because initially when you first started doing my hair... I had like a comparison. I'm like, okay, my hair is supposed to look like that. My hair, because your hair is beautiful. It's supposed to look like that. It doesn't look like Telesis. My hair doesn't look like Telesis. And then when it started to form and become a thing of its own, I'm like, hmm, I might be looking a little bit better than Telesis. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, she, and she'll tell you that like, I play in her hair all the time. Like, I'll just walk up to her, to her and just like start playing in her hair because it really is like so beautiful. Like the shape, the colors, like I love it. So yeah, so, but you don't, do you like see a lot of people like in your like daily life, like if you're on a train or you're going to work? The, the only thing that I get, like I say, when I'm on the train or if I'm downtown in a train station or even on the street, people will stop me and say, oh, your hair is so beautiful. Are those locks? Like, where can I get those? You know, so I get compliments constantly. Okay. Do you feel like your hair is healthier? Yes. Now? I believe at this point my hair is the healthiest that it has ever been in my even 49 years old, for almost 49 years old. Um, because before I had this, I had perms for quite some time. And then I had a lot of breakage, um, burning, um, burnouts, if that's what you want to call it. It just, my hair was not at a healthy state. Mm -hmm. And because for a year that it hasn't had, had any heat or any other chemicals, any other type of treatments to it, it is, yes. It is definitely healthy. Okay. One of it best in its healthiest state. And also because um, you're not losing hair as much. Right. Cause right. Because when you were loose, you naturally you shedding you a lot. Shedding of a lot of hair. Mm -hmm. Yes. No shedding now. Okay. I'm pleased. Overall, I am pleased. I'm so glad that I uh, went ahead and allowed you to uh, do this project. Do you think if I? I know you said you you would have paid twelve hundred dollars for it, but. Do you think that, like, if I hadn't did it, that you eventually would have got them? Um, yeah, at some point, but well, I don't know. Do you think if you would I have them by now? Yes, but I don't think I, I probably would have done research and see if there was something else out there, you know, or some other way to go. So I don't other alternatives? Yeah, other alternatives okay. to, you know, the system. Paying all that money? Yeah, that's a lot. $1,200? That's a lot. But it's people, <laughs> you know, it's people that pay more. Like twelve hundred dollars. You, you that's know, you a know lot. Why, in one setting, that's a lot, and that's not even including the going back and forth with the maintenance um, that you have to do the retightening and like, like no, over a course of a period of time, that's a lot. That's you even think, like when the braids came out, people were paying five hundred, six hundred dollars, and then going to get you know uh, additional maintenance to it. That that upkeep is high. But so you don't think you don't think that like for because it took me four days. You don't think for four days worth of work that's enough or a, a, like equal amount. Twelve hundred. You're an accountant, so you $1, know. Twelve hundred dollars for a hairdo is a lot. For but you know people pay that on like weaves and stuff. <sighs> okay, but I'm they don't saying. get the same result. It's not their natural. It's not hair. permanent. It's either. not their natural hair. It's, it's a quick fix. This is not a quick fix. This is an investment. This is something that you can have for years to come until you get tired of it. You are virtually in control of what happens here. If you want it to grow down to your booty, so you say to speak, well, let it grow down to your booty, but that's not me. But I'm just saying, if you want it to grow there, you can. I, for the first time, I washed your hair, um, well, I think it's the first time I washed it loose, like I didn't braid it. Are you, if you, if I wasn't here, like, would you still be braiding and banding? Like, braiding it and banding it to wash it? Uh, I probably would be, only because I was skeptical of thinking that I was going to mess something up. Mm -hmm. But after seeing that you just did it so effort, effortlessly loose, 
there's no need for me to take the time to braid them up and then wash and then unbraid them. So yeah, no, I wouldn't do that anymore. My only suggestion would be like, cause you kind of sometimes get overwhelmed because like sometimes I'll like braid her hair and I don't know if I do them too tight, but like she'll try to take them out and she'll just like come in like the living room, like kind of frustrated cause and she get freaked out because <laughs> I'm like, I can't get this out. I can't get these rubber bands off. And it's like a lot of work. Yeah. So you I know. would just say like, be gentle, be careful. Have you lost any locks? I think I may have lost one. Okay. I think it was one. And that I mean, yeah, and I think that was something that I did when I was pulling, but it wasn't because it was shedding or anything. Okay. Now, one thing we should note is that, and this is my fault definitely, I haven't been the most punctual in terms of retightening her hair. So you know, especially when you're first starting out, you should get a retiring probably every four to four to six weeks. But how long have we gone sometimes? I'm like, like six to eight <laughs> weeks. Yeah, six to eight. Um, where they're like, mm, I can fin run my fingers through my hair quite well. It's time to get tightened, dear. <laughs> She's silly. And so, like, I say that to say, like, um, at one point there was a lot like it had grown to be a strong lock because but even like but since I didn't retighten it in time it was hanging by a strand and like I had to cut it like there was no way that I could save it so she does have a couple of locks that I've combined um and there was some locks in the back that just like I think when we first started one that broke off and uh, I had to restart and it's kind of like doing it's on it's growing back up now so um Make sure you stay on schedule uh, with your retightenings. Um, but it's just hard because, like, I have to do my head and I have to do your head. And then my cousin has traditional locks. That's what happens when you're great at what you do. You're in demand. <laughs> I, well, am, am I great at what I do or is it free? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Make, right. <laughs> so what, what do you hope to experience in your next year of I think for my next year, I'm just gonna look for length mm -hmm. and health. As long as it's healthy and it's growing and it's flourishing the way that it should be, I'm gonna be fine because the next step will be the color. Oh, you didn't tell me what color. Oh, I don't know yet. I don't know. I mean, I may wanna go all gray. I wanna may go blonde. I don't know. Uh, you gonna, we'll you, get to you, that you point. You gonna dye it all gray? Yeah, of course. I'm that foxy chick. <laughs> Mama, you act like you are so old and you're not even old. Oh my God. I am, YouTubers, I am 48 years old. That's like young. And if I, if God says so and I live in the next month and a half, I will be 49 years old. That's a blessing. So yeah. Would you dye it blonde? Oh, I know I you like blonde. blonde. I mean, I love blonde on certain people, but I don't know. We'd have to see. So, so my next question or my last question is, before you got locks, I don't know, like, because you grew up in the 70s and the 80s. Um, okay. What? Okay. All right. So, 70s, 80s. Right. Well, I mean, right. Okay. Because, like, attitudes were different things. So, okay. when you decided to let, let me get locks, did you have any negative stick, like, stigmas about locks? Or, like, were you nervous? Because some people look down on locks. So, like, have you ever heard people say negative comments? And if so, were you worried about the, those comments? No. Like, you know, like, no. some people say, like, locks are not professional. And you work in a corporate environment. I work in a corporate environment, yes. And no, um, it's, you know, I think it's all how you go about it. And when I say go about it, I mean, if you're not looking like certain rappers with twigs hanging up and down and you know stuff all rolled around and shit like you know pacifiers or whatever hanging off okay come on now but if you're in a so but what about freeform locks that's you know that's when you um <laughs> and i think they're beautiful i don't i wouldn't do it but freeform locks is you know what? Come on. You know what type of world we're in, so you still just have to use your judgment accordingly. So, no, was I worried about going into um, a, the corporate environment? 
with these? No, I was not. I hope you guys have uh, learned something uh, within our uh, tutorial uh, video, not tutorial, but our video here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to push the subscribe button. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Thank you.